हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय मिसेस कोमल राहुल परदेशी वर्किंग ॲज अन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्प्युटर सायन्स अँड इंजिनिअरिंग ऑफ वालचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी गोईंग टू डिलिव्हर अ लेक्चर ऑन सुपर ब्लॉक अँड आय नो असाइनमेंट टू अ न्यू फाईल युजिंग आय अलॉक अल्गोरिदम अँड रिलीजिंग अँड आय नो युजिंग आय थ्री अल्गोरिदम दि लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन आर At the end of this session, student will be able to recognize structure of super block and explain how kernel assigns a disk inode to a newly created file. Let us see what is super block. As we already know, super block contains the whole information about file system. So it has many fields. The first field in super block is the size of file system. complete size of the file system then the number of free blocks in the file system how many number of blocks are free are stored in super block then it contains list of free blocks which are available on the file system it also contains index of the next free block in the free block list it contains the size of inode list the number of free inodes in the file system the index of next free inode in the file free inode list lock field of the free block and free inode list so all these about the super block super block contains information of file system and it also contains information about the inode and number of free blocks present Now let us see the inode assignment to a new file. Kernel uses algorithm I get to allocate known inode whose file system and inode number was determined previously. Means I get algorithm is used to allocate known inode to the file. Inode assignment to a new file is done by I allocate algorithm. As we know file system contains linear list of inodes an inode is free if its type field is zero if type field of the inode is zero means inode is free and it can be assigned to a new file the non zero field type field of an inode indicates that inode is assigned to some other file now whenever a process needs a new inode kernel search that inode for free inode list this may require at least one read operation from the disk for every inode so searching the free inode for a newly created file requires io operation so it reads it requires one read operation from the disk this may degrade the performance of the system so the file system super block contains an array of free inodes in the file system let us see the inode assignment to a new file using algorithm i alloc the input to this algorithm is file and that file is searching for the inode which is to be assigned to the process so initially this will check whether super block is locked super block lock means some other process is using the super block for some another purpose if super block is locked if this condition is true then the process which request for an inode goes to sleep and wait for the event that super block should become free but if super block is not locked then it has to check whether the super block inode list is empty means free inode list which is present on super block is empty if this super block list is empty then lock that super block after locking that super block process has to get the remember inode for inode search and it will search for the free inodes on the disk once if that free inode are not present on the disk then it will return 
no inode to the process but if it founds the free inodes on the disc then it will get the all free inodes from the disc to fill the super block and super block becomes unlocked super block was locked because there was no inode present on the super block and now this is the situation where inodes free inodes are present on the super block so once that super block is unlocked the processes which went for sleep for the event to become super block free are wake up processes wake up and they set the remember inode from the number of free inodes which are now filled in the super block now the super block inode list is not empty because super block is filled so it will get an inode from the super block free inode list and get that inode using algorithm i get then it checks whether that inode is free or not if that inode is free then it initialize an inode it create the disk copy of that inode as we know there are two copies of an inode one is a disk copy and another is in core copy now here we get in core copy so it is necessary to create disk copy of that inode then it will decrement the inode reference count and return that inode to the process but if inode is not free then write the content of that inode to the disk to make the consistency between disk inode and in core inode inode after that release that inode and again go back to the loop and whenever that inode is found on super block list then only assign that inode to the process this is what about i alloc algorithm let us see example of this i alloc algorithm now this is the initial super block list now super block this is nothing but an array with fixed defined size here as we can see all these are free inodes one inode is marked as a remember inode this is the super block list before assigning any inode to the file and initially the pointer that is index of that super block array points to the first free inode which is present on super block list whenever process request for an inode then the first inode is assigned to the file and the index is shifted to the next free inode again whenever process request for the next inode that next inode is assigned and index is shifted again to the next free inode in this way these inodes are assigned to the processes as per their requirement so all free inodes are now assigned to the processes and now there is only one inode remaining in the super block that is remember inode and rest of the list is empty so this is nothing but the last inode which is present in super block free list inode so this is the time to fill that super block super block is filled with free inodes from the disk and this super block is filled by comparing the current free inode with current remember inode super block is always filled with the number of free inodes which are greater than currently remembered inode so after filling the super block from free inodes from disk this is the new super block list where all inodes are greater than 470 okay so here this whole super block list is full with all free inodes whenever a process wish to access an inode it will start assigning that inode from 471 and now the process set the one remember inode which is maximum in all these free inodes so in this case the new remember inode is 535 so this is what all about i alloc algorithm
Now pause a video and write down your answer for difference between iGate and iAlloc algorithm. Okay, let us see. iGate is used to allocate a known inode whose file system and inode number was determined previously, while iAlloc algorithm is used to assign an inode to a newly created file. Now let us see releasing an inode using algorithm iFree. Input to this is inode number which increment the inode reference count. Then check whether super block is locked by some other process. If it is not locked then check whether the inode list is full. If inode list present on super block is full then check whether the free inode is less than remember inode. If it is less than remember inode, then remove the remember inode from the super block list and mark this free inode as a remember inode. But if super block list is not full, means there is a space on super block array, then store that free input inode number into the inode list. If super block is locked, then just return. Now just See an example of iFree algorithm. This is what the original super block list of free inodes. Suppose process free and inode number 499. Then as this list is full, super block list is full, that 499 is compared with remember inode 535. As it is less than 535, it is placed in the place of remember inode 535. Now suppose process free and inode number 601. Now this 601 is compared with this new remember inode 499 as it is greater than 499 it is not placed on super block list instead of that it is placed on disk. This is the references. Thank you.